for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff at the man. She's as always. Got another defensive play for you guys today out of my Dolphins slash Giants defensive ebook. I've been dropping a lot of new defenses. This one today is going to be one of the best pass defenses and blitzes you can find in the game right now. I've seen people as far as some pro players call it the meta defense right now, but I'm not really sure if that's the case. It's just a really good defense. It's really good if you're going against guys like Lamar Jackson or Kyler Murray, just mobile quarterbacks. You're going to have to resort to a formation like this. The formation itself is the 2 3 6 Sam. It's also known as the dollar formation some playbooks will have the dollar some playbooks will have the two through six sam i think it really depends on whether you're in a three four playbook or a four three playbook now as far as the four plays i would have in my audibles i would definitely have the cover two man as one of them that's one of the best uh defenses when it comes to pass defense it's all out pass defense no real pressure you're going to get but you'll have a lot of good coverage on the back side you want to get a little bit of pressure you want to step it up a little bit and this is definitely going to be the base defense for me uh the number one defense in this formation in my opinion is the db fire too this is going to be the defense i go over the most then if you got a run defense to cover four drop would be the best run defense in the formation and then the last defense would be the cover three lock it's a very unique coverage to this formation uh this here is going to be something i'm not sure if i'll show here or if i'll be on my patreon and join our community tab and stuff like that but definitely these will be the four plays that i would run there's also a lot of really good blitzes to be found out of the dime one four six a lot of good blitzes so if you guys want to see Woo! more uh defenses out of this playbook more blitzes out of this playbook hit the like button as always oh that's going to start off with the db fire too on the offensive side, we're just going to go with uh, random. We'll go and we'll pick something uh, kind of metal. We'll go random gun bunch. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up and support this channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEY to get 3% off. It's always the cheapest coins on the market. Now, as far as this setup goes, I mean, I hit random gun. I don't know what happened. It gave me just random whatever. But this is actually perfect. A formation like this, because they're, they're disguised really well. These cornerbacks are disguised to a point where it looks like they're going to be uh, covering their users i like to bring them in just a little bit but an empty backfield look like this is even better because all i really have to do i'm going to choose whatever side has the least receivers and i'm going to blitz this guy here and bring him down uh, into the gap this is basically what's going to get my free rusher in. i'm not going to stay here very long i got to drop back immediately and take away uh 16s uh, you know the, the slot receiver on the left there but this is pretty much it you don't really have to do anything i like to slant my guys outside uh, my defensive line a lot of time although here it does even look to really make a difference but there we go now i guess it didn't work out the first time this will help to get these in my opinion i mean it works either way but this will help to get these uh these outside cornerbacks off the edge even easier so i'm gonna go ahead i mean i could do a lot of coverage adjustments and pinch my defense bring these safeties down a lot of times because you know a short passing uh concept is pretty much going to be what you need to beat this defense you get also hard flat stuff like that uh, this is pretty much going to be uh, the base setup and your defense can look something like this now your safeties you know you can leave them back there's a lot of different things you can do the only other thing i would say is make sure you guess pass guess pass is going to be one of the things that i do just about every single time so let's go ahead and let's take this off so the, the offense can run their play now like i said i'm not staying home long gotta get back and you can see both the cornerbacks come off the edge extremely quick and get a sack from both of them really a very interesting result we got on the first play um there's five guys blocking and i'm only sending five only three guys actually engage and block somebody. We get two free defenders in, which is something you're going to see a lot in a formation like this. Like I said, it's one of the best blitzes in the game. So this left tackle here, he has to make a quick decision uh, whether he should take this defensive end right in front of him or the cornerback. He chooses the cornerback. And then for whatever reason, I guess I pulled the guard really well. Guards are a lot slower than tackles. I pull the guard really well if I can get on the guard. Uh, which, like I said, sometimes is tough with this uh, replay system. But this guard here, I guess he was too slow to rotate because he's reacting to me immediately. And then by the time I back away, he's too slow to rotate on this defensive end. So this defensive end just gets right past the guard. If we go to the other guard, he's over here blocking nobody as well. As you can see, this cornerback also gets in free, but he doesn't get the A-gap pressure the defensive end does. But he is, I also forgot to mention, you want to put your fastest cornerback at these spots. I got Byron Jones, who I think it's like a 96-speed cornerback coming off the edge. It's going to be a huge advantage. So here we have a look where we have a, uh, a running back in the backfield, which is going to be typical. Whenever you have a running back in the backfield, this
this guy here he has a much lesser chance to get pressure than the guy on the other side because this guy on the other side here um, even if the running back is on a pass block if it's a play action he won't be able to turn around quick enough to, to take away this this blitzer and even if it isn't the play action a lot of times he won't be able to rotate over to pick up this blitzer so you're going to want to set the defense for that guy so all i'm going to do is basically uh user the gap over the running back to make sure that that guy really gets the attention or at least the line will shift in my direction and that's pretty much it so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to do my setup again slant outside for my defensive line uh guess pass is pretty much all i have to do and then come down to this uh, gap here i can do a lot of other things like hard flatting which i did um i could press my you know my entire defense all that stuff but that's really up to you so as far as this play goes like i said the running back does go out on a pattern and you can see right there we get an easy sack off the edge hopefully i'll get some looks where the running back is blocking a couple things about this uh defense that i like number one i think cover two is one of the better defenses in the game right now and i've said that multiple times i think a lot of people feel like cover two is really one of the best ones to play um so that's something but you will not stop the run very well that's something you have to keep in mind this is not a good run defense here i spread the defensive line out a little bit that should help as well uh, but this is pretty much all you're going to do like i said this is something where if it's a run play it's going to gash me anyway so it doesn't really matter i'll show you guys a run defense here in a minute out of this formation but ultimately it doesn't really um doesn't really matter so like i said drop back in this tight end it's really open we get the cornerback off the other side i don't know if the running back was on a pass block there or not so on this play the running back was blocking we spread our defensive alignment even further and you're going to see how that has uh, another add effect when it comes to these linemen trying to switch off so here we go once again left tackle comes out he chips on the uh the defensive end to try to pass him to the guard but then the cornerback just runs right past him and he doesn't block anybody so ultimately once again you have uh switch issues when it comes to the speed of these cornerbacks although the running back was blocking he does pick up his cornerback which is like i said you always want to make sure you, you the guy coming off the opposite side of the running back will be the one that gets the pressure every single time because number one they just don't see it coming from this side of the field and number two even if they do they can't rotate over quick enough to pick it up but you can see we still get very easy pressure as this is one of the best blitzes in the game so I'm going to go ahead and move on to a run defense. But before I do, I just want to show you guys a couple of things when it comes to these safeties. Now, I know that I was doing a lot of baseline show blitz, baseline setups where these safeties might come in. If you have court receivers out wide like this, you can't hard flat and have these safeties in. A lot of times I'm hard flatting. If you're gonna hard flat, you gotta have these safeties out wide to take to take away any possible streaks from 84 or 15, these outside receivers. Streaks can kill this defense, um, easy streaks if the safeties are out of position. So make sure they're out wide enough to take that away. But other than that, I mean, this is a very easy defense to set up. If you, make, if you, if you know where the, the pitfalls are, you can easily uh, account for them. So we had to force pick a run play. We picked the inside zone, obviously a very popular uh, running concept out of most gun formations probably the most popular um, just to show you guys that number one this will not stop the run successfully so we're just gonna go we're gonna run it as we were although I don't know why it's not letting me get off my safety this game's been really buggy since the last patch uh, you have to pause sometimes just to get that ability back but like I said let's say we're setting this up the same way uh, you're just gonna see here it's not typically gonna shut down a lot of inside runs because of a couple reasons number one I mean it gets to the safeties right away the safeties are the issue when it comes to cover too number one they play too far back let's go to the replay they play too far back to start the play but number two they also drop back immediately unless you guess run which is a huge mistake they will typically drop back on their heels and be out of position to make any type of play there's an easy counter for that so a great counter for that is going to be the cover four quarters now all i'm going to do is baseline show blitz baseline once again i'm going to use these safeties a little bit bring them in a little bit tight so that they can be right in the area um, where you know an inside zone run would be and this is basically going to be your look if you don't guess pass which is not, not something you're going to want to do now you're going to see how these guys do a much nope. better job of stopping the run that was a safety catching the running back about two yards after the ball was snapped let's go and let's watch the replay they said much different when it comes to cover fours cover fours the safeties will play down in the box and fill these run lanes better than any safeties in the game cover three cover two they all typically drop back but in cover four if you don't guess pass they walk right up in the box and they will take away these run lanes uh very well as you can see right here i mean he stops them two yards deep and we have a very successful run defense and the setup could be easier wide triangle uh right on the left stick then wide triangle left on the left stick then wide triangle right on the left stick again so real easy setup baseline show blitz baseline like i said i'm going to bring my safeties where i want them because i know that they're the reason that this this defense would stop the run 
the first place. You can also hard flat. If you think it might be an outside run, hard flatting can help that. But ultimately, this is your setup. And then you can see, I mean, there's nope. just not a lot of run room here uh, for inside zones and stuff like that. So you get a couple of very easy stops. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more defenses out of this formation, more defenses out of this playbook, do me a favor, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.